Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just got Corel 2020 and they're upgrading from 2017 or X7. And they're having trouble with two problems. One of them, they can't find the contour tool. Well, the contour tool kind of changed in 2019. So 2020 is the same. If you go to effects, here's your contour tool. This is the exact same place of where it was in 2007, except for it was up here because they've added some new effects under the effects uh, drop down. So if you click on this, you get your contour docker, which you're going to use the most of the time. This contour up here, I've never really used it because you've got another contour tool right here that gives you a contour tool up here. So if you take this, a shape and you click on that contour tool, you can contour it uh, just with your mouse and, and do different things and have different steps and make more steps and more steps. It's like the Docker, but it's a little bit more maybe easier. So for you, if you have 2020, this is what you want. It's Control F9 to get that Docker. And then this is where you would contour and you tell it you want three steps at three inches on the outside and it'll contour three steps to the outside at three inches. And the other question was, and he, he wants a CMY color palette. Well, that should be when you first start Corel up. Uh, it ought to ask you, but right here on your windows are your color palettes and then go to palettes, click on that and you're gonna get a white, like I've got RGB. If I wanted CMYK, I just click on it and take away the RGB. Now you can see that I have a CMYK black 000100K. And this is the same place where you turn on your document palettes of what you've used recently. Um, there's actually 256 shades of gray and later corrals that uh, I've used a little bit when I haven't made my own. Uh, I actually have a laser one that's just some few colors. So let's turn off the CMYK. And this is where you could make your own color palette because laser engravers only use black to white and then these colors for color mapping and then red that signifies a hairline. And I just added a few that I wanted for different things. So I've got a video on that. But to find that, just go to Windows, Color Palettes, and then to Palettes. And we can take that laser one away. We don't have any, but I want my RGB color palette. And then once you have that, just go up to Tools and save as default. That's all there's to it. And then every time you open Corel, that CMYK color palette will be there. I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.